Today I've got a Nintendo Switch Lite with a broken Joy-Con on the left hand side so we're going to go ahead and replace that. Uh, for this job you're going to need a Phillips screwdriver, tri-point, and uh, I find that a pry tool comes in handy as well as a magnetizer, although you might be able to survive without that. So what we're going to do first of all is just make sure the device is turned off. Up here on the top I'm going to go ahead and take out the game cartridge that's inside just because. And uh, one thing I want to point out is that there's a very thin piece of plastic right here along the top of this shell and it's very easy to damage this when you're taking this apart or putting it back together so do be aware of that once this snaps off it's not a huge deal but then your card slot uh, cover will not stay closed and that's kind of annoying so what we're going to do is start by taking out two Phillips screws here and here there are two more down here next to the charge port and on the back you'll have your tri points in all four corners in fact it doesn't really matter where you start with this All right, once you've got all of the screws out, I would recommend that you start prying along the bottom. Uh, sometimes you can just actually get this, um, whoops, let's check the micro SD card slot as well. Okay, that one's empty, nothing in there. Uh, and so we will start prying along the bottom here. And you can probably get in there with your fingers. Let's see, let's just give this a little tug. You'll see it starts to open up. It's a good place to grip it. And then we won't go too deep. You can see I'm just going just a tiny bit inside here just to disengage the uh, plastic. Work our way along the edges. And then as you just pull it away, you can go ahead and lift this out from the shell like so and like I said when you put it back together I would recommend you clip it on the top first that way you're pushing the bottom in otherwise uh, there's a possibility of damaging that little section right there All right so now we've got it opened up I'll go ahead and flip it over we're gonna remove this metal shield here so that we can disconnect the battery cable in order to do that you'll have to take out these three screws here and then there's gonna be a fourth one over here on the left it's actually a different size so make sure you keep track of this this one right here all the way over at the left hand side is going to be a slightly different size than the other three that we take out. All right, once you got those three removed, you can just kind of lift and that will come right off. Your battery is going to be plugged in beneath this flex cable here. So I would take something uh, plastic if possible and very carefully lift up on this lower white section here. That's going to disengage. And those are pretty easy to damage if you aren't careful. So once you've lifted that white piece up, then we want to get inside here and just pull the cable straight towards us. And that will expose our battery uh, cable here. So you can use a piece of plastic if you feel more comfortable, but the important thing here, let's zoom in a little bit, is that you don't touch anything that's metal uh, that can be shorted. So as long as you get a hold of the wires from back here, and we're just going to lift straight up towards the ceiling, we can disconnect the battery, and now we have no more power inside of the device. From here, we're going to go over to the area where our Joy-Con is located, and we are going to uh, disconnect this cable here. So just lift straight up on that one. Oh, that one's stubborn. I'm going to get a better tool. Okay, so lift that up. And we can slide this straight towards us the same way we did the last one. And then for the speaker, you're going to have one screw right here that needs to come out. And we also need to disconnect this little piece right here. So be careful. These things are very fragile. But once we have this screw out, 
that will release the speaker housing. Like I said, we have this wire attached, so be careful. Um, and also, kind of maneuver down at this lower edge here because this thing is kind of underneath that little cable. Okay, so you can kind of take that out. And then from here, what we need to do is just kind of lift straight up on this connector. If you get a hold of the connector itself, uh, you won't have any issues with the wires being damaged. They will tolerate a certain amount of stress, but don't want to end up breaking this. So if you just grab the base and kind of wiggle it that way and lift it up, they usually come out a lot easier. All right from here, we're going to go ahead and unplug these two cables. So we're going to have one right here and here. This one goes to your buttons at the top. So I'm just going to go ahead and take this out of the way for now. So we'll unplug that, set that aside. And then this one, we just want to make sure that it's disengaged like so. And we are also going to have to remove this little thing here. And this can be tricky because sometimes these things fall apart and you have to reload the spring that pushes this part out. So um, I will show you that when we get there. First thing we're going to do is take out these two screws. Okay, and from here, we can take the trigger out. And like I said, sometimes it just pops out that way. And what you want to pay attention to is this little screw right, or excuse me, this little spring right here is important and it's going to go down inside of a channel here. And at the same time, you've got to get this piece uh, and make sure that the spring doesn't go sideways and then get that little hinge into place. And also make sure that you get this down inside this little area like so. So I'll probably repeat that process in a minute if this thing falls out, but I think you get the idea. You need to make sure that spring stays straight. This goes into here and it gets tucked in on this end. From here, we're going to have four more screws that need to come out. Uh, one, two, three, four. Notice that these two are different than these two. And also we have one more thing to unplug here. So just gently lift up on that. And then we can pull that out. And that is actually going to be our Joy-Con flex cable. We'll go ahead and get these screws out of the way. All right, and from here we can lift the daughter board out. Like so. Okay, we'll just set that aside for the moment. And we're down to the very final step here for the removal, and that is going to be these two screws right here. Now keep an eye on this stuff. These can just fall out, so you'll want to make sure that you put them back in. If they do, there's also a little piece up here. And that sometimes tends to fall out. So, um, and there's you can see there's a plastic piece underneath it. So, there's only one way you can really put these back in. But uh, I just pay attention, make sure those don't end up on the floor somewhere. We'll take out the two final screws here for the Joy-Con itself. All right, from here, this is just going to come straight towards us, like so and then we'll put it all back together again with our new part.
Okay, I've got two choices. I can see what I'm doing under the microscope, or I can record video. <laughs> so I'm actually going to switch to the microscope and uh, give you a better view here. I think the battery's dead on this guy. Well, maybe not. We'll go ahead and plug it in anyways, because I want to say this battery was pretty low. Yes, it is. Let's get some power here. All right. And there, our new Joy-Con is working. You can go ahead and uh, go through the calibration for that if you want to. But that's pretty much it. We'll go ahead and shut this down and put it back together the rest of the way.